Hi friends, my name is Akhil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial, I will talk about non-clustered indexes in SQL Server. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is, what is a non-clustered index in SQL Server? So recently I got a question from one of my subscribers, Shelja Kesani, and she asked, can you please make videos on indexes in SQL Server? And in which scenarios we should use the clustered and non-clustered indexes? So I have already created a video about indexes in SQL Server about like what are indexes in SQL Server and how many types of indexes are available in SQL Server and what is a cluster index. So you should see a pop-up on the top right side of the video about the indexes in SQL Server and about the cluster index and I would recommend you to watch that video first before watching this particular video. So what is a non-cluster index in SQL Server? A non-cluster index does not physically sort the data in table. When we create a non-cluster index then the SQL table data is stored at one place while the index columns along with the address to the corresponding records are stored at another location. Because index data is stored at separate location, thus we can have multiple non-clustered indexes in a SQL server. When a query is executed against a column on which non-clustered index is created, SQL server will first go to the index then we'll find the address of the corresponding records and then we'll find the data from the SQL table. Because non-clustered index stores the address of the records, thus non-clustered index is slower than the clustered index. How many clustered and non-clustered indexes we can have on, on a SQL server table? A SQL server table can have only one clustered index while 999 non-clustered indexes. If a table contains a cluster index, then the table is called as a cluster table and if a table does not have a cluster index, then the table is called a heap. So let's jump to the demo. In my SQL Server 2019 instance, I'm just going to create an employee table and then let me just insert 7 records into the employee table. Okay. And now let me just create a cluster index on the date of joining. So if you select the data now from the employee table, then you will see that because we created the clustered index on the date of joining, thus the data has been sorted on the date of joining column. And if you want to check how many clustered or non-clustered indexes exist on a SQL Server table, then you can use this query sp underscore help index and then you can pass the table name. So this will return you the clustered and non-clustered indexes on a table. So this particular table contains only one index ix underscore doj and the index is the clustered index which is located on the primary file group and this is the index keys date of joining. So this is one of the method that using a SQL query you can see the indexes. The another method to see the indexes is that you can just expand the database, expand the tables and then you can expand the table as well and then you can expand the indexes. So this is the index ix underscore doj and this is a clustered index. There is one more method that you can just click on a particular table, click on view, go to the object explorer details, double click on indexes and you can see all the indexes here and from here you can just generate the uh, drop and create table as well. So in case you want to drop a particular in index then you can just drop this particular index from here using this SQL query and you can also create the index using this particular query as well. So as of now we have just one cluster index. Now if you want to create a non-cluster index then how we can create a non-cluster index as well. So suppose if I want to create a non-cluster index on salary column then the syntax is very much similar to the syntax that we use to create a cluster index. So we need to write create index index name so I can write index name as ix underscore salary on table name the table name is employee and now we need to provide the key column on which you want to create the index. So you can use multiple columns for example if I want to create an index on the salary and name so I can use both the columns here and the index will be created on both the columns so you can click on execute a non-cluster index has been created and you can use the sp underscore help index query to check the indexes so you can see that we have two indexes now the first one is the cluster index and this is the non-cluster index and the index keys are the salary and the name okay and if you want to for example drop the index then you can use the drop query like drop index the table name dot index name so the, my index name is ix underscore salary and you can execute this query and this will drop the index if you recheck it 
so now you have only one index so let me create the index again and now let me see if i can generate the drop index from here as well so i can refresh the indexes from here so now you can see we got two indexes so you can select both the indexes so you can right click on it and then you can generate the drop and create sql index statements so these are the sql statements to drop the indexes that you can use this statement as well drop index index name on table and then if you want to create the index again then you can use these statements to create the indexes again so i will share this particular script with you so that in case if you want to just create the table insert the data and if you want to create some indexes then you can use it in your environment as well so i think that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon and click on also that you will be notified every time i upload a new video thank you so much